Have you ever been in a situation that you thought God forgot about you? God forgot about your needs? I have been, and I believe you have been too. And every time I'm in that situation, this beautiful quotation reminds me of God's goodness. It says, review what God has done, and then know that it is only the beginning of what He is willing to do. Take for instance, Tam Vai, who came from a poor family of seven children. She has three older brothers and three older sisters. And being the youngest of the family, any funds that could have been saved for her education were used up by the time she went to college. But such things didn't stop God. She had always wanted to serve God, and apparently it was evident to others. And when Tam was in high school, the union president in Myanmar encouraged her to go to study theology at Myanmar Union Adventist Seminary. She had no money, but Tam had faith that she has a God who will provide. The first two years went well, but in her junior year, God's provision seemed to run out. This was the biggest trial of her life. At one point, Tam didn't even have soap to wash her face and no money to purchase it. And she was ashamed to ask her friends or her teachers for help. And she began to wonder if it was God's will for her to continue college. Should I stop studying? She wondered. In her discouragement, she began to weep alone in her room. The tears just wouldn't stop. Even though she had taken her eyes off the God who owns everything in the universe, Yet God gently reminded Tam to pray. So she made her way to the prayer garden and began to pour out her heart to the Lord, praying, Lord, I need a bar of soap. Please help me. And when her tears were spent, she returned back to her room. The very next day, someone handed Tam a bar of soap as well as a bottle of bath gel. How quickly God answered her prayer. And later, one of Tam's teachers approached her and asked how she was doing. Tam held back her tears and said, I'm okay. The teacher pressed some money into her hands and said, This is for you. Please remember that God is taking care of you. During that time, Tam could not hold it any longer. She broke down in front of her teacher. This experience increased Tam's faith in God. A faith that she would need every day as an ASAP church planter working alongside a church pastor and leading a ladies' Bible study. Now she is filled with joyful confidence in God. She still has financial problems, but she's not discouraged anymore. And she doesn't cry like she did before. For now, she knows that God will take care of her. And I'm encouraged by this beautiful reminder from the Spirit of Prophecy that says, If you have given yourself to God to do His work, you have no need to be anxious for tomorrow. And another quote as well, it says, All who choose Christ's kingdom of love and righteousness and peace, making its interests paramount to all other, are linked to the world above. And every blessing needed for this life is theirs. And this is my favorite line. God's children are never absent from His mind. Isn't that powerful, friends? And may this beautiful verse from Isaiah 44 verse 21 be an encouragement to us. It says, Pay attention, O Israel, for you are my servant. I made you, and I will not forget to help you. Friends, if there is something that we should be praying for like we've never prayed before, it should be a prayer that would constantly remind us that we have a God who would never forget us. So we should never forget about Him. Because Jesus is coming soon. Now more than ever, prayer matters.